Hello everyone, welcome to Day in Life, I'm Gabriel, and last week on channel. Today is still February 4th, and this is the fourth video log for today. And I was talking about reading a story to you guys that I won't be talking about maybe March. So, it might be beginning of March, maybe it might be close to the end of this month. Whatever I do feel, I don't know, it could be the 25th, in between 25th and 30th, it could be between the 30th and the 5th. But I'm, I'm going to guarantee you guys it'll be the beginning of March. I guarantee you guys that. But like, like I said in the other video, it's like you can't really guarantee a lot of things in life because things do change. It's like, um, uh, yes, I'm going to have some, I'm going to have a lot of money at the end of this month, and I'll be able to lend you this, I'll be able to pay for this, or to buy that. But you. Money is a weird thing. It's like, oh, this came up. I'm gonna put money into that. Or that came up. I'm gonna put money into that. I can't believe that happened. Now you put money towards that, and the, your plans of what you're gonna do with your money before it comes in has to go elsewhere. That's also another thing too. You know, you lend money to somebody. Money causes amnesia. They forget to pay you back. They forget the. Uh, uh, some people actually forget even who I am. Because they owe me money. Ah. That's what life is, I guess. That's what life is. Um. Oh no. Thinking about old friends I haven't seen for such a long time. There's one friend I talked to him, I think, probably six months to a year ago. I want to go visit him, but I wasn't exactly sure because I redid the, um, we well, redid the chat thing and it erased all the, erased all the, com or the um, um, what we were talking about anyway, comments or something like that, not comments, but all the stuff we were talking about anyway, <clears throat> it's gone and I don't know. happened to it and I'm not sure where he's at, where he's at, what he's doing with his life again and life kind of got busy and I did message him again and again and again and not really got any messages back. Other than that just really the same old same old kind of life for him anyway. He's not married, he's not really in that much of a relationship and Blah blah this, blah blah that. I don't know. Not really much to talk about that, I guess. I have some old friends that I don't talk to anymore because of reasons of trust or who they talk to or who I don't talk to anymore. Some friends have disappeared and you know, they got their families and they got their new life of whatever kids in their life or something. I got some other old friends who disappeared completely. I don't know if they're alive or dead or different towns or what they're doing in their life. Then I got some old friends who became bad druggies or kind of become uh, you know, alcoholic or going into jails and you know, stuff like that. Um, uh, what was I was going to say, how's that? Yeah, so I'll get back to that soon. <clears throat> A little notification on my phone. And there's friends that are, um, that are working, they're in different businesses, they're doing stuff in their life, they don't have time for other people, or, you know, their life has changed, and there's probably people like me who have just gave it up and got new friends and learned to hardly trust anybody. And I got sick of the drama, sick of the BS, sick of different problems in life. That's why my group of friends are small, small group of friends. 
He used to have like hundreds of friends, hundreds. Little by little, I was losing them for whatever reason. When I got married to the wrong woman, I lost like half my friends. Half the family members were talking to me, weren't talking to me anymore. And then, you know, splitting off from, from her and then losing another half of my friends. So, say if I got, I don't know, 200 friends, I maybe have 50 friends left. Then I knew I had to let a lot of them go because they were socializing with her and anything I said about anybody or anything or about her would give back to her and it started pissing me off. So I dropped them off as friends. Then I got to the point where I was hard to trust anybody. I started letting other people, other friends go. I was like, oh, I'm not going to talk to her. And like, I'm not going to do this and that. And then there was like maybe one or two out of maybe a bunch of ten. And I said, screw this. I, I can't really trust anybody. Then I got to the point where I don't go places, I don't go downtowns, well, the other, you know, city, where some exes are. I wouldn't go downtown, I wouldn't take the city bus, I wouldn't go to malls. I wouldn't do anything, I would just kept to myself. And then I got to the point where I was, you know, depressed and just lived my life for sake of living. And then that was letting go of the last, you know, 10 to 20 different friends and not exactly sure who I'm going to trust or... You know, sick of the drama and BS and a bunch of crap and whatnot, and then got some new friends for the past, you know, maybe five years, seven years, about seven years, maybe about seven, maybe going to eight. I don't know. I don't know how many years, but you know, I got some new friends now, and then some other, some other old friends, you know, are true to to their word, and they're out there. And there's some, uh, there's a couple of best friends. I don't know where the one best friend is. I haven't seen her for a while. Hopefully one day I will. Um, it's like a lot of time here. Other than that, I hear somebody knocking on the door next door. That is a student house. I think it's a knock on the door. Could be hanging out a picture or something. I don't know. Anyway, um... That's the way it is, and I don't really talk about, I don't talk to anybody, I talk about anybody. Talk to anybody about anybody. And if there's anything, it's probably just a joke, and that they're happy to be there, or, you know, I know it's going to get back to them, and they know it's a joke. Um, a little bit of dryness there. Um. And I you know, hang, stop hanging out with different people. I do a pop up and see somebody I that do know, and some pe some people I used to know, and I don't know if I know them anymore. And that's you no know, the thing in my life. There's different spots that are, are blank in my life now. There's various reasons. I don't know if I knew them or if I could trust them. That's another reason why I just let things go and you know not even bother with you know, the friends I did have. Sometimes, you know, I'll bump into somebody I actually talk to or bump into somebody I like, don't want to talk to. If I do remember or not. There's some that are just a blur to me. I don't know. I don't know who they are. Somebody that's like, hey, blah, blah, blah. It's like, sometimes I just keep walking or, you know, do my own thing and not talk to them and I don't know them. And, or sometimes like, oh, wave like a, it's like somebody I actually remember or know. But like I said, there's a lot of different, there's different patches and blank parts of my life that um, people, places, and things are just a blur or blacked out or I, don't, I can't remember because of you know, the many strokes and heart attacks and I don't know, stress in the brain, I guess. I, I can't really describe that to you guys, but... I used to be a lot quicker at the words and... Uh, wittier, I used to be uh, more motivated, more healthier, more involved, uh, more funny, more uh, um, strict or um, serious in things. But uh, there's a lot of different things that's changed around, around my life. I don't know what else to really talk about now. 
Like I said, I don't know. My group of friends are very, very small group of friends. And that's all I really say about that. I got some new friends. They're cool. Well, in the beginning, uh, one or two are blah, you know. Then they're uh, okay. Then they're annoying. Then they're okay. Then they're annoying. Then they're okay. They're so sometimes they know themselves and I'm used to it now and things are changing and things are, you know. But I don't know, just they're friends. I could say the one friend is actually our best friend now because we've known each other for five to seven years, maybe eight years now. We could have maybe met each other back then too because he wasn't too far from Res. Not living in Res. Maybe we bumped into each other one time and I don't know. I really don't know. But that's, that's... That's life anyway. I consider him my best friend now because... He's the only true friend that I have right now. I've got another true friend, but I don't know where he's at. And I got a best friend. I don't know where that person's at, too. But this is the other best friend that's closest to me. I mean, I think people can have like the five, ten best friends that they want. But I think they stick to like one or two of the best of best friends. Other than that, um, like I said, I'm mostly just keeping myself. I don't really bother me on the bottom of my neighbors. I don't really go anywhere much and not really invite anybody really a part of my life, like friends or family. Uh, like I said, you, know, you guys can see, you know, day after day I'm doing video logs. And if I'm not doing video logs in my bedroom, I like in the summertime I've done video logs in the parks and stuff. And that's in one, uh, um, one city over, those parks. There's a lot of nice parks in one city over, and it takes a little bit of time. Because I get on a bike and then go across town, take this bike path, bike path leads to this, uh, the other town, and across the different places in town. And I'm getting things done closer and closer and closer to me, the parks. But I'm at the end of this video now. So if you guys did like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. And share this video on channel, my benefit for you, my benefit for me. Please do tell your friend and family about me. Thank you for being this video, time you guys watched it. Hope you all have a nice day, more night. And remember, it's better to be Aboriginal than original.